Welcome back. Happening this weekend. Yesterday, Kern County celebrated the Day of the Dead, but the fun isn't over yet. We have Jay Tamsey joining us in studio to tell us what's happening this weekend as the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce celebrates Dia de los Muertos. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. So what's going on this weekend? Well, we're celebrating our 12th annual Dia de los Muertos. Obviously, yesterday was Dia de los Muertos, and, and we would like to uh, make sure that the families celebrate at home yeah. and, um, you know, customize their altars. And so we always have ours the Sunday after. And so it'll be November 6th at the Kern County Fairgrounds, which is a new location for us. So we're able to have more altars, more food vendors, and lots of um, great entertainment out there um, this Sunday at the Kern County Fairgrounds from 1 to 7. Perfect. And Kevin was talking about that forecast getting a little bit colder, but it does look dry. Is this mostly outdoors, indoors, a mix? It's outdoors, okay. so yes, dress a little warm, or if you're going to be dressing up as a Katrina or a Katrina, mm -hmm. as they say, um, you know, I'm sure that you'll be warm, warm enough to be out there, and we'll have lots of great um, food and, and entertainment and vendors and stuff like that. So um, this is really, really a big um, celebration for us, obviously, in the Hispanic community, but um, we also want to make sure that, at, to let everybody know that all ethnicities are invited um, to come and enjoy our culture as we share it with other cultures as well. And to not be shy to ask questions. If maybe this is your first celebration, just what's going on here? People will be there to educate? Right. There, yes, um, we have a little over 70 altars or ofrendas as they call them. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you go and look at all these altars and people, Kern County is just amazing. They come out and they're so, they customize their altars, they're so unique and I think it's really, really honestly therapeutic when they talk about their loved one. Um, so they're not afraid to share their stories mm -hmm. on how someone passed away and what it, um, uh, what their lives consist of. Yeah. And I think that it's just, um, it's a time for healing and it's a great celebration. It's a time to be happy yeah. and to celebrate and commemorate the loved one. Absolutely. So we have this graphic here again happening on Sunday and you said it's not too late to buy tickets. What's the best way to do it? So you can go, uh, visit our website at kchcc.org okay. and you can get your uh, individual ticket online or you can get a uh, family pack for uh, five uh, for thirty dollars, okay. or you can go that day and pay ten dollars out the door. And so we do have a really special kids section that's free, where kids will be able to, to um, use the frosting yeah. and paint the sugar skulls um, and design them, and then also do lots of arts and crafts. That's fantastic! I love it's, it. It's great. That's going to be a lot of fun, All right, Jay? Thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you for having me. Have a good time this weekend. We'll be right back with another half hour of.